Hello everybody, welcome back. We're here with another fun-filled day of science and I'm so excited that you're here with me today. So today we are going to talk not about your science units, but about what it's going to be like when we go back to school. Okay, so with you, science is going to be very interesting. Um, straight out of the gate, I'm going to tell you, or right away is what that means, I'm going to let you know this video is coming to kindergarten and first grade, okay? Just so you are aware of who this video is reaching, okay? Now I'm telling you that because it pertains to the whole video and our school, okay? I'm doing one video because why not? It's sharing information with both of you so you can both see the same video. With our return to school, things are going to be different. The whole building will look different. The way you maneuver through your day is going to be different. But also how you see specialists is going to be different. With the way our schedule works and with the way we do specialists from now on, you're not going to be able to come to science class. Um, I'm going to be going into classrooms, but I'm going to be going into classrooms upstairs and your rooms are downstairs. That's just how it's going to be able to work best with the facilities we have, with the materials and supplies we have. With I'm, I will be teaching on a cart and so it will be difficult for me to take my cart up and down the stairs um, even though we have elevators, it's easier to just leave my cart upstairs. So, um, so just so you know, that will be how we do things for right now. That's our current plan. That's not to say our plan won't change. It could, but I just wanted to let you know that that's what's going on right now. So thank you so much for the work you have been doing so far. I will still see you around the building, so please come and say hi to Miss Jacobson. I will have a mask on, but I would love to get to know you and or see you again. So please come and say hello to me, okay? Um, I so look forward to seeing you in the building and continuing to check in with you and see what your learning is like. You might even see me in your walking line at the end of the day, okay? But... Regardless of that, remember that I love you and you are amazing, okay? And keep working hard. So with that, today what I'd like you to do is I would like you to share one thing you loved the most from science this year or liked or one thing you kind of enjoyed, okay? Share something with me. What did you like? What's going on? What do you remember? Share that with me and let me know what you're thinking about, what comes to mind when you think of science class, okay? You can also share with me something you would like to learn about when we come back, okay? And then to end out this video, I have a little experiment for you. First graders, this goes along with your unit. Kindergarten, this gives you a little bit of a hint on something you're going to learn about next year, which is kind of cool. So, we learned about different states of matter. Matter is everything around you, okay? You are matter, I am matter. Matter is anything. It can come in three forms, solid, liquid, or gas. Today in this experiment, right now, you are going to see all three. And if you want, with parent help, this is something you can do at home today. Okay, again, with parent help. When? With parent help. Can you do it without parent help? Nope, only with parent help and permission. So I have a plastic Ziploc bag, and then inside that Ziploc bag, I have an ice cube. Now that ice cube, let's take it out here and show you, is in its solid form. 
it holds its shape. You can see those sharp corners on there. And you can tell that it was in a rectangular prismic container. Okay, so I'm putting it back in this bag. And now I'm going to add some liquid to it. My liquid here is a warm water. I don't know if you can see, but there is some steam coming off of my water. That is actually our gas. And the water in here, what state of matter is that? Hmm. We have a solid, we have a gas. What's left? Let's be liquids. So gases escape, gases leave. We have liquids. Liquids take the shape of whatever container they are in. I have my liquid here in my coffee cup. Now, I used this coffee cup today, so there was just a little bit of coffee in here, so the water is going to be just a little bit brown, but it'll help you see it. So water takes the shape of whatever container it's in. So I'm gonna pour the coffee Pour the coffee, pour the water into this beaker here so you can see the different shape. Actually, I lied. I'm just going to pour it straight into our bag. And as I pour this warm water in here, you're going to see our ice cube change shape. So I'm going to get my bag up close and I'm going to pour. Our water in the baggie. Now that I've done that, our ice cube is still there. I'm going to zip my bag so it stays closed. Watch our ice cube. It's still there, but it's changing a little bit. It's getting smaller. Let's watch it for a little while. Still there, still getting smaller. Now it's just white. So the ice cube is our solid. The water, our liquid. There's some bubbles on the bag there. Our ice cube's getting smaller. It's probably about the size of my thumbnail now. Okay, I'm going to keep talking, but we're going to continue watching our ice cube. So I'm doing this experiment, and I did this experiment with hot water because look at the rest of our bag. Do you see how it's a little bit foggy? That fog is actually gas trapped in our bag. And that gas is our third state of matter. Our ice cube is now just that little speck. Do you see it? That little speck, it's almost completely dissolved. Our ice cube is fully gone now. He's all melted. So no more solids. Our bag is just solids and gas now. So if you put hot water in a baggie, you can have both liquids and gas. If you trap the steam in the bag and you end up with gas, you trap the water vapor in the bag. So in this one experiment, we saw all three states of matter, solid with the ice cube, liquid with the water, and gas with the water vapor on the outside of the bag. Let's see how if we turn the bag, some of the water vapor goes away. That's because the water picks the little vapor particles back up.
Pretty cool experiment, huh? I hope you guys have a great day. Can't wait to hear from you again. And I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check in tomorrow for Field Trip Friday. Goodbye, everyone. See you around the building. Not next week. No school next week, but the week after. Have a great day, everyone.